Hey everyone, it's Tyler. I am back with my second thrift haul. Um, this time I'm going to talk through and show you guys some of the things I got um, two weekends ago when I was back in my hometown and I went thrifting. So I don't have any footage of me actually like out and about thrifting, but um, I thought nonetheless I would show you guys what I got because I did pick up a lot and I'm really excited about um, the things I found. And then here's Moose. Say hi. Okay, that's enough. For those of you who don't know me, again, my name is Tyler. I run a um, Etsy store called Wentworth Vintage where I sell mid-century modern and boho home decor. Um, and I just started this YouTube channel this week uh, and thought it'd be a great way to show you guys some of the behind the scenes as to like where I get my stuff and how I get it and um, how it basically ends up on my Etsy store and on my Instagram. So if you don't follow me already, be sure you follow me on Instagram at Tyler underscore Wentworth and also my Etsy is wentworthvintage.etsy.com and I'll have both of those links down in the description and Moose is trying to eat my LaCroix. Okay. So the first stuff I'm going to show you is uh, two items I found at a, a small mom and pop thrift store, like resale shop um, in my hometown. And the first is this uh, Southwest rug. Stop. That would look super cool as um, a small rug or entryway rug or even like a wall tapestry. Hey, I really like the pattern and design on this and I'm really excited to put it in my shop. Um, I'm not sure what comparable ones like this sell for. I'll have to do some research, but I'd say probably somewhere in $30 or $40 range is what I'll list it at. Okay, and then the other thing I got at that thrift store is something I'm actually going to keep for myself, which is this crock um, that I have uh, my own utensils in. Um, I need to get more, but I really like the color. It's like a taupe camel color. So I picked up all the rest of the items I'm gonna show you at a Goodwill, actually two Goodwills in my hometown, uh, not too far from here. Um, I have noticed that smaller towns tend to have more items that are less picked over uh, by other uh, resellers or other collectors of mid-century modern and boho and vintage and eclectic homewares. So um, if you feel like you don't have good luck thrifting, maybe try going to a small city like 30, 45 minutes away that might have a Goodwill or Salvation Army or a thrift store. Uh, I'm going to show you all the non-brass items I got first because I picked up a lot of brass pots which tend to sell pretty well in my shop because um, people love putting plants in them um, or using them for other kind of storage needs. So the first thing I'm going to show you are actually these two small uh, glass candlestick holders um, and they have like an orange amber color. But I thought they were super cool, super mid-century looking. I don't know if they're actually mid-century, but um, just by the looks of it, they do look like they've uh, been around for a little while. There's a little bit of scuffing on it, but I'll definitely clean it up and post them on my Etsy. And I'll have to look at what comparable ones sell for, but probably somewhere in like, maybe like $17, $20 or something like that. And then I also got this basket, which I thought was super cute and would look super cute. Um, I just said super cute twice. That's not like me. Um, it would look really great with a plant in it. Um, and you can get really good plants for like six bucks at Trader Joe's. That's usually what I do. Another thing I want to show you, which I tried to clean up a little bit, is this, um, oh look, you can see that's my shelf. And then like there's my chair with my camera on it because I'm sitting on the ground. But this is a mirror that actually has like a printed, screen printed design. But I had one of these um, about four or five months ago and got a lot of interest in it and it sold pretty quickly. So I'm hoping this one uh, does the same. I also got this uh, candlestick holder, just one, but it has like that really cool brown amber glass. Um, and I thought it looked super mid-century and it would look great on like an end table or a, a mantle or something like that. And I've had two of these before uh, that were matching, but I got these two wooden pineapple bowls Super fun for like a party or to have out to like hold your keys or other small random knickknacks that you need storage for. But I got two of these. I'll probably sell them as a pair even though they're not exactly the same. They're a little different, but they're in great condition. They're also really big. Um, a lot of times you find these and they're a bit smaller than this. Keep in mind I have large six, four foot, six, four, that's my height, six, four foot, 
uh, hands of a man, so these might look a little bit of out of proportion to what you have. Um, that was weird when I say that. Next thing I got was this hanging little wicker basket uh, hanger. Looks super cute with like a big air plant in it or maybe like a small potted succulent or something of that nature and it's got this little hook. So you can put it right on your wall, um, which is super fun. Another kind of find that I was excited about are these, uh, they're from the 70s and I believe the brand name of this type of glassware is Madeira and the style that this is in is called Franciscan. Um, but it's like the set the 70 seven seventies glassware with this like textured glass. It's kind of hard to see, but it's got tiny little like ripples in it. And then this really cool like footed base uh, in this avocado olive green color. And I actually got six of these and these are pretty like hefty water goblets. They're really solid, they're really heavy. Um, but six of them, which would look super cool on like a mid-century tablescape or vintage tablescape or even like on a bar cart. I think they have these labeled as like water goblets, but I think that's for wine. I mean, let's be real. I also got some other glassware, including these little smoky glass tumbler style. They're probably like eight ounces or so. Um, but I have three of these because I had four and one got damaged in my vehicle as I was transporting it to Des Moines. Um, so three of these, but I really like this color. I actually have um, some larger like water goblet or wine goblet style um, ones like this that would match really well actually. Okay, on to all the brass I picked up. And brass is definitely back in style. Um, people love brass planters, brass pots, just brass everything with like a good old patina on it is really, what's in, what's selling, what I enjoy to have in my own home as well, or my own apartment. This is an apartment and it's messy. So I'll start going through some of the brass stuff I found, including this little pear dish, which I thought, you know, super cool for keys or uh, a little catch-all for whatever you might need it for. Super into this. I got this hanging like scalloped shell-esque wall planter. Um, it's really big too. I have a large head, um, again large person and I love the detailing around the edge there's like some I don't know what you'd call that it almost looks like a pie crust I like food references I'm an eater I'm a shaker I'm a mover uh, and yeah love this got a ton of smaller to medium-sized brass pots love the detailing on this baby this uh, hammered brass one has a really cool like hammered texture super into this one it's a little bigger love the detailing on this one like that pattern is ridiculous I've never seen anything like that this would look super cool with like a big old plant in it and then I got this more simple one um, it's kind of like bulbous shaped kind of looks like a witch's pot but it would look super cool in a, a, like a mid-century or like contemporary space um, and something I actually use this for very temporarily is a plant stand and the way I did it is I actually flipped it upside down and like when it lays like this, it has like a flat bottom that you could easily like put a plant on. Um, and it actually looked really cool, but I ended up buying a, a different mid-century plant stand today actually. And then I got this really big brass pot uh, that has like a hammered texture on it and this kind of, um, I don't know what you call that, embossed beading type design at the top. But look how big this thing is, again, um, I'm a large person, so the proportions probably aren't great, but uh, yeah, in love with it. And these will all probably be in my shop. I just need to make sure they're not like too big to ship so I can um, not have to charge like $40 to ship this to somewhere. But these will pre probably all be on the shop. They'll definitely be on my Instagram. So if you don't already follow me, again, be sure you please do and let me know if you liked this video. Um, um, I just started my shop in and like very last week of December and I've been getting a lot of great positive feedback from everyone. Um, and if this is the first video you've watched of mine, I would really appreciate it if you let me know if it was remotely entertaining to you because I would like to start doing these a bit more often because I think they're fun and I like to show you guys kind of the things I find and a little bit of behind the scenes of my process and what I do. So thanks for watching and I will catch you guys soon.